So, hi, it's me, Denny Daniel, of the Museum of Interesting Things, and I'm here with... Moses. Julie. And they came all the way from New York, <laughs> and they saw the whole museum. It took, uh, what, two weeks like to see everything? Yeah, I think it was about two weeks. Maybe yeah. three weeks. Yeah, it was about three weeks. I think it was 40 days. Uh, and now they're going to open up a new acquisition never seen before by even me. So I've got these two boxes right over here. And I picked the uh, largest and heaviest ones I could find because that makes it more interesting, right? Um, and I do this like a 40-second street shell game, which I'm born and raised and remember the 40-second street shell game, where a guy showed up with three shells, and he put a quarter under one, mixed them up, and you had to guess which shell had the quarter, and you would win something. The only difference here is I don't have three shells. <laughs> there isn't a quarter under any of my packages, and you win nothing. So ethically, it's exactly like a New York shell game, if you think about it. But the similarity is this. I am going to mix them up. So here is me mixing up the packages. Are you guys confused? Yes. Good, because otherwise confused. I'd have to do this all day long. <laughs> okay, so uh, pick a package to open any package. Excellent. And I guess that one is yours. And here are your scuffles. There you go. Just remember not to cut each other, <laughs> not to cut me, not to cut my cat. But if you do, I do have Civil War surgical tools I can cure you with. Oh. <laughs> and you don't have to worry about silly stuff like, you know, sterilizing them or anesthesia. That's for sissies. Here's the label. Ah, excellent. Oh, I think there's more paper. I don't know what it is. Uh, it might be customs or something. Who knows? That one. Package insanely well. I know. All this tape on it. Some and you don't know what you don't know what it is? I purchased it. <laughs> yeah, I guess we made up a round up. Yeah, it's interesting. I've never seen one package like this. Wow, that's 16 millimeter films. Wow, from Jason Smith. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Interesting. So let me get my what glasses and see if I can it? figure out what movies you open. Persuading the public. Interesting. Oh, I know what that one is. That actually is Persuading the Public. It's this like 1970s film about how this is one of the coolest films in the world. This is about how, like, everyone talks about how, like, the media is manipulating or something like that. So this is a film in the 1970s showing, like, the way that they would convince you to, like, buy popcorn or something. Yeah, so this was a very cool film on how advertising is used to manipulate you into buying things or doing things, wow. voting a certain way, buying a product. This is a really cool film. Um... And then the other film here, let's see, uh, let me take that one from your hands and see which one that is. Oh, this one is called So You Want to Be a Handyman. <laughs> uh, this is a very funny film. There's actually two films on here. There should have been two films. It's pro they're probably together. Um, but there's uh, two films I got that are Joe McDoke's films or something, isn't his last name? And they were kind of spoof films. Uh, there was this guy, Pete Smith, and this guy, Joe. And they used to do these spoof films like How to Be a Handyman, but it was the worst way of being a handyman. He gets everything wrong. Or How to Do First Aid, and it probably killed you. You know, and there were all these really funny films they did that were spoof films in the, like, 30s, 40s, and 50s that were very famous. I have a whole show on them. I've got a ton of them. But I've got mostly the Pete Smith ones, which are really funny and great. He worked with Laurel and Hardy, even. Oh. Uh, he became very famous. They were big celebrities. But I've never been able to get a Joe McDoke's one. So finally, I own Joe McDoke's. The only thing is, I could only find a, a Spanish version of it. <laughs> so I hope you know Spanish. <laughs> I don't know how well my Spanish is, but I guess I'll work on it. But yeah, that's, that's really cool, my first one. And then you opened up what looks like a Thomas Edison cylinder record. Yeah, that's right. With the really beautiful designed uh, cases. I love these cases. So this is an original Edison of, aw, 
this one's very romantic. It's beautiful eyes. Oh, I guess it's for you. Heard that one. <laughs> That's why he mom. got it. <laughs> yeah, see? Or for my mom. Yeah, yeah we were talking mom. about her. Yeah, but he doesn't know my mom. He knows you. <laughs> and I don't think he means me. <laughs> so that is a really cool one. And it's actually for a musical we plan on producing using Thomas Edison's cylinders. And it's supposed to be a love story. And it's like boy meets girl, boy takes her on the day, and blah, blah, blah. And then they get married, and honeymoon, and all that. So I got a cylinder for everything. So I, you know, and most of them are Ada Jones. So this is probably Ada. Yep, it is. The woman you heard on my record doing Underneath the Silvery Moon is on this record too. I'm like her biggest fan. I've got like over 30 of her records. In fact, I'm hoping she tours. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe not that soon, right? Uh, but that's really cool stuff to open. So thanks, and I hope you guys enjoyed. That was really fun. <laughs> yeah, Thank it was really you. fun. <laughs> I get to have fun for a living. And we'll say bye to the world. Bye, world.